Christmas without peanuts wouldn't be Christmas. Um, Okay, so in this talk, we're going to have some uh, one-of-a-kind slides and photos that you haven't seen before uh, that Patrick's never talked about, starting with his very first one. Oh my gosh, it's cartoon royalty. The prince sitting in the throne of Charles M. Schultz. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a picture of a boy, very young looking me when, uh, when I first met Sparky. And uh, that's me at his drawing table in Sparky's studio in uh, Santa Rosa, California. So what year was that? Was that the first time you met him? You know, I'm going to guess much started in 94. That, that's probably around 94, I would think. It was probably early on. I actually met Sparky before I even did much. You know, before I did much, I did a, uh, a comic strip in Parents Magazine called Bad Baby. And uh, they actually made a collection of it. And I... Uh, um, oh! Also, when you were a kid, you wrote him a letter, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually, uh, believe it or not, this is a kind of fate, but I, I wrote Sparky a letter that maybe Snoopy should meet a cat. And uh, it's funny, probably 30 years after that, I had Earl meet a cat. In, in so, and I actually, I got a response back. I got a, 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 a Xerox of the, Mutz, the, the Peanuts gang with an autograph by Charles Schultz. That is so cool. You know, he's the reason I became a cartoonist. I mean, and not only, he, he was a big influence because not only did he make me want to be a cartoonist, but uh, Snoopy made me love dogs. And I didn't have a dog growing up, so I just wanted a dog my whole life. And then I finally got Earl and that inspired the comic strip Mutts. So um, I tell you, it's mind boggling that uh, I got to get to meet, become friends with my hero. What else did you do that day besides, did you like eat in the Warm Puppy Cafe or anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we ate in the Warm Puppy that day. <laughs> and we <laughs> talked cartoons. I mean, that's what was great about Sparky. I mean, for all his fame and, you know, for all the money and, you know, he, he was just a, at heart just and loved to talk about pen and ink. <laughs>